So me and the man, we were having a good time. We're watching the college playoffs, and we're super happy to get to watch, you know, Michigan versus TCU as the warm-up. The man, he looks over at me, and he says, Hey, dog, look at this crap. All these women from, you know, Michigan, they don't got no good-looking women out in Michigan because it's so cold up there. They always have to be a little hefty, you know what I'm saying? I said, buddy, you can't say that kind of stuff. That's wrong. You can't say they're all hefty. He says, look at them. Like they, they're, they're like Norwegian-ish, but like the Norwegians, the original Norwegians, or where these people came from, they settled in America up in the cold because where they came from, it was a cold place where they came from in Europe or whatever. They were escaping persecution like the pilgrims and the Puritans. They went up there and settled in uh, Michigan. But it must have been a lot of the ugly ones that went up there. I said, oh, my God, buddy, you can't say that. That's so wrong. So look at them. Look at these guys. It looks like they're blonde-haired Broomhildas. Blonde-haired Broomhildas, okay? You can't be so heavy. You can't be 75, 85 pounds overweight. It takes away, it washes away this facial structure, you know what I mean? It's blobby. It's like, you know, it's washed out. You can't have the, you know, it's the, the blonde hair. It looks like, it looks like hefty, big, old Broomhilda witches. It's the only people that come from Michigan. So when they Michigan, when they travel and they go play the bowl games, they always lose because they got a bunch of ugly women that come with them. And that's horrible. I mean, maybe Andrew Tate would say something like that. The man should never say anything like that. I told him so. I said, the, I said, the dog doesn't stand for that kind of crap. The dog puts his foot down. The dog does not let accept the fact that what you're saying is that when you pan through the crowd, they can't find a pretty one from the Michigan side in the, in the maize and blue the maize and blue, they can't find a pretty girl. It's all, you know, you know what do you say, homely or hefty girls. It's not, it's not the right thing. You got to, the sculptured look that God created for the woman was like, you know, it's beautiful. But when you put a big layer of lard over, a big layer of fat, that you got to have that fat when you live way up there in the north. Plus in the north, what are you going to do besides eat? You got to have com- comfort food, a lot of comfort food. But it doesn't matter. I looked at the man, I said, buddy, I don't stand for this crap. You're the one trying to say that this, that, and the other thing. These women, they should be respected. They should be adored. And hey, so what? So what if it's a new generation and, you know, heavy is the new norm. You know, curvy is the new beautiful. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I mean, what? it doesn't even matter. I mean, I'm an like stupid dog, so whatever. But, you know, I was just, the man, he was just like trying to make a point. I don't know if the point was at the top of his head or someplace else, but it was kind of funny. It didn't matter.